All right, guys, we are closing in on the ninth anniversary for Global Dokkan here. Um, I figured I should give my thoughts on which uh, banners global players should target. Um, I've had a lot of people talking about, okay, truth. So obviously I need to go for Beast. So I should get Gogeta and then aim for Beast, right? And they're completely skipping over Broly, who is a Dokkan Fest LR. Now... I do think getting Broly is pretty crucial. Um, the main reason I think this now, again, Broly is a Dokkan Fest LR. Broly has a Dokkan Fest LR leader skill. Broly has, I mean, one of the five best leader skills in the game. Uh, full power, transformation, boost, and super bosses. People do tend to get their brains wrapped up in super bosses, but understand with transformation boost and full power, 90% of the good Dokkan Fest LRs and easy characters that come out are on Broly's leader skill. Now, some don't synergize well, like Tech UI Goku, since they're fighting over the domain, but most of these characters that come out are on Broly's leader skill, right? So that's a huge thing to keep in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is how Dokkan operates with mission-based content. I think that this is an essential point when we're talking about the four major anniversary LRs here. We have Dokkan Fest LR Broly, Carnival LR Blue Gogeta, we have Dokkan Fest LR Beast Gohan, and we have the Carnival LR Gammas. Now, I'll tell you guys, I, in my opinion, the Gammas should be the last priority by far. Uh, they're certainly very fun. Uh, their support is very good. I mean, the Gammas could probably survive... Well, I don't know, I guess... Of all these characters, Gogeta might do the best in terms of power creep. I, I'm probably, well, I don't know, because Beast Gohan is still going to be untouchable while his intro is up. But, like, remember, like, characters, so, like, these boys right here, for example, you know, they're really good defensively in slot one. But what happens once they're a loser in slot one? They become a terrible character. It's what happens to LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks. Like, as characters get power crept, um, like, how good are they going to operate in a role where they're, like, the sixth unit on the team, the fifth unit on the team, rather than, you know, Beast Gohan being the best unit on the team or something like that? The Gammas could potentially live the best like that because they're a massive support type character, right? You know, just as long as they don't get caught in slot three, right, and they're just sitting there looking pretty supporting, that could be good. But we have three superhero characters, and then we have a villain. Now... A lot of the toughest fights in the game over here. So this is the Supreme Magnificent Battle event that's coming to Global in a couple of days. A lot of these have... Yeah, exactly. Stage 3. This is Blue Kaioken Goku. He cancels dodge. You cannot dodge against him the entire fight. This... You have to do... There's missions like these everywhere. An Extreme AGL character, Extreme Tech character, Extreme Int character, Extreme SCR character, Extreme Physical character. Now what's funny is you can bring... The last character can be anything. So, that, like, one strategy people were using on JP is they would use Broly as their leader, they'd bring Beast Gohan, and then they get the extreme typing for all the other characters. You can do that, and that will qualify for this. And that's something that you can do, in particular, with Broly's dominant leader skill. I, I do not subscribe to the, the notion of skipping the Dokkan Fest LR. I, you know, I would rate Gogeta a little bit better, um... I mean, Gogeta has a little bit more of an impact early on in the fight. Uh, when, when Broly first transforms, he's definitely better than Gogeta. But Gogeta, of course, has his active skill, target mechanic, you know, target attraction ability. He, he has that one season, a second turn in blue. Let's take a look at this banner. So, Int Golden Frieza is very good. Um, Int Golden Frieza is also going to be very good for some of these missions. Again, that, you know, we're going to get a lot of mission-based content. Fusion Zamasu is definitely a capable character. Uh, the rest of the banner is not really too hot. I mean, these guys are, are more of like a niche goof goofer option. It, at no point in base are they ever safe. Like, you can go into Red Zone Movie Boss Rush, and they get up to like 2 million defense, and they can still get one shot. Like... In base, they're a loser, unfortunately. But their standby is still really good. Um, definitely capable of dealing with a lot of these big bosses. Cooler is done. We're waiting for a ZZA. I mean, these guys are now bad, yeah. Um, but, I mean, we're seven months away from them being top five in the game. And, I mean, I'm t guys, they are going to be top five in the game. Anniversary, like, like Dokkan, it's very obvious how they operate with these EZAs now. 
I, these guys are going to be top five in the game. The gods, the gods, and LR Super Saiyan Four Gogeta are going to be like the most fun characters to run next year. So you know, if you if you get them, it's not the worst. These guys are very elite. They're like a borderline top ten LR in the game with their Rainbow Orb changing, uh, their guaranteed crits, um, <clears throat> their debuffs, which could be good for a lot of these fights. They're impressive. Fifth anniversary Blue Fusions will will probably be useful for quite a while. With, you know, 70% dodge in slot 3, first turn transformed 100% dodge. That type of ability is going to be useful for a long time. And then this Broly sucks. Banner's not terrible. Let's look at Gogeta's banner. Because we're, we're looking at the two part one banners. Uh, so Gogeta's really good, but... I I mean, you have UI and Broly Chan Lemo. They're definitely solid Yellow Queen LRs. But, like, the rest is actually just, like, worthless characters, huh? Like, I, I have not used Trunks almost even once this year, basically, since, like, Anniversary happened. I maybe could look into doing, like, a long video for him. Maybe I should. Um, I mean, obviously, this Goku's a loser. Kid Gohan, I mean, he's aged out at this point. Metal Cooler's nothing. Uh, this Krillin, maybe at some point, could get an easy A. Remember, he's the banner unit for Blue Kaioken Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. Um, and then, of course, we're you know, it's going to have a lot of unfeatured characters and stuff. I, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm sure people will look at this and they maybe don't have Trunks or have very little dupes in him. Uh, maybe with some of these other characters here. Gogeta's banner certainly does look far less impressive than Broly's to me. Because, I mean, I look at this. this is, um, guys, I'm telling you, this is a top five character in seven months right here. <laughs> right? So, like, that's there. Frieza's very good. Very good for a lot of the content. Um, okay, so there's that. Now, again, I just want... So that was stage three of Blue Kaioken Goku, by the way, right? Uh, then we get over here, stage six. This is UI Goku. You need to do a full extreme team. Well, plus... Uh, it's a full... An, an extreme character of every typing, plus one other character, which, you know, typically people would pick Beast because he's literally invincible, untouchable, best unit in the game by far. Even still, he's the best unit in the game by far. Even with UI Goku out, Beast is the best unit in the game by far, easily. Um, and then... The one that was very annoying for me, I remember. Uh, dude, there's so... See, th this is this is how they're doing content now. I, I don't think that this is bad either. Like, just filling these tough fights up with these missions. Um, it's this. This. This is Beast. The Beast fight with Extreme it, it w was a little annoying. One thing about this, there are zero good Extreme STR characters in Dokkan. I mean, except for Sal Max, but Global's not going to have him. Sal Max is literally the only good extreme STR character in the game. Um, I mean, there's also... I mean, this guy... I, I guess Global players could try and run him. I mean, he's better than... Not, well, but he's restricted to Majin Power, though. That's the thing. Uh, I, well, I guess maybe Global players could try and use Majin Power team. Maybe that could work. Uh, you wouldn't be able... Well, I guess you could use Mr. Boo, actually. Could Majin Power work? You'd have to use LR Super Boo. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know about that, buddy. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, LR Super Boo is your, only, your extreme AGL option, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't I, I don't know about uh, Majin. It, it, it could. It could. But anyway, extreme STR, besides, like, Dark King Fu, who's restricted to, like, the Heroes team or something like that. Like, I, when I was doing these missions during Anniversary, I was using the 60% STR support hit. Because there's really nothing else. Um, and then, there, remember, there's also Stage 2 of Cell Max as well. Um, which also has these missions, right? Um, so, you beat the event. You get the wallpaper, the Gohan and Piccolo. That wa that wallpaper is really sick. Uh, clear Stage 2 right here with a full Super Class team. Then with the full Extreme Class team. Nobody is going to have trouble with these ones, man. And, and this is why I do urge players to really, you know, look at Broly hard, man. I... I, I do think, I, like, I know, go I, like, I will say I think Gogeta's better right now. Like, I do think Gogeta's better than Broly, but I just think, like, the value is probably much higher. And, you know, what your account may struggle in, I, I, I mean, Gogeta, I, I don't, like, I, I think players are going to be able to fill out that last slot on Superhero, or they're going to be able to have that super physical character or something like that. Like, I, I mean, you could... This is a good replacement for Gogeta, this character. Like, they do the same... One of the same really good things Gogeta does, which is Rainbow Orb Changing. They're better than Gogeta until Gogeta transforms into blue. Like, that, that's that's exactly what I'm saying. But there's, there's no replacement for Broly. Broly does not have a replacement. So, I, I just... 
would really urge people to, to look at Broly heavily um, with how Dokkan structures its content. Um, now, I was mainly focusing on the Part 1 banners. Now, keep in mind that there are these elite discounts, which are global only. JP didn't have these. You guys, of course, do want to take advantage of these. These are very, very good. And this is why, with the guaranteed featured SSR, it's important to look at the whole lineup. I mean, people often will go, oh, I need Broly and I need Zamasu, but they don't look at the rest of it. But, you know, if you're going to put stones in these banners, you're going to be getting a lot of featured characters. On here, your featured LR slot could be the gods. That's, you know, not, now you have 90% for them when they ease in our top five next year. But on Gogeta, your featured unit is going to be Paragus and Broly, who are a decent e sub-EZA during this anniversary. But, I mean, they're not like an elite character on a ton of teams. Now, we also do have the Beast and Gamma banners. Now, I'm going to tell you guys this. I, I I mean, every character that comes out nowadays, like, people are desperate for Beast Gohan to be replaced. But it's just what he does where he, he – it's basically impossible for him to die while his intro is up. And his active is up at all points of the fight. They just created an invincible character who also can triple super, triple crit, and also can protect allies. It's like individually certain characters here and there can have a turn better than him, but he just has unopposed, un like checkable, you know, undeniable dominance. I like picking this guy up probably is a very good idea. Um, and I mean, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. He has a, okay. These two being here. I mean, I'm sure there's a good chance a lot of people have them with dupes, but I mean, these are, you have three of the top five units in the game are here on Beast Gohan's banner. I, I mean, this people are telling me... I haven't used them very much. People are telling me that they're actually quite effective still. It makes sense. I mean, because if they're in slot 2 or 3 with 50% damage reduction, a big boss super will kill them, but they should be able to hang in there against normals after, you know, double, triple, quad supering, something like that. Uh, again, same thing with LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, 7 months away, they're top 5. Uh, Krillin and 18, I'm not the biggest fan of, but, I mean, they at least can provide value to superhero right with how how big their support is uh easy piccolo is dead uh same with uh the lr goku and vegeta of course and then lr gohan and goten as well because lr gohan and goten they're basically just super class cooler right that that type of character is like not uh runnable <laughs> right now that's crazy what does the gamma's banner look like that's pretty good i mean you have bulma and and future gohan and the gamma's bulma and future gohan are both very good Bulma and Future Gohan have not fallen off. They've fallen off in that you can't cheekily run them in slot one every single time against these big bosses. But Bulma and Future Gohan, uh, they're not likely going to get you killed. And they're going to bring a lot of value to the team. Uh, the Gamma's banner is way better, I think, than, than Gogeta's. Carnival Goku, unfortunately, has fallen off. So is this guy. This guy's going to be an interesting EZA, huh? Tech Carnival Goku. Rose and Zamasu aren't really too good. Uh, that in Rose, I was toying around with him. Remember, there is a Super Bosses mission against Gogeta. Um, it's uh, Stage Seven. Uh, powerful comeback. Here it is, right here. Super Bosses. This was tough. This this was th even for me back then. This was tough. I mean, Global ha has is gonna have. Um, Global, Kefla is certainly a good option you could use here. 200k, oh my god. Kefla is certainly a good option you could use here. Uh, Physical Rosé will definitely help compared to what JP had at the time, right? Like, there are characters you could use, but uh, yeah, that, that that's it. I mean, if, if you're going to use items, I don't, I don't think it's really going to be that tough. But uh, when I was doing it without items, this was a, this was a very, very tough mission right there. Um, and uh, I, I tried Int Rosé one time trying to get his uh, active skill rage mode. Now, okay, so we talked about all these banners. I mean, part one, I, both parts, I would really recommend summoning for the Dokkan Fest LR. Um, I actually kind of like the lineup that the Gammas have on their banner. At Bulma, Gammas, and Future Gohan, that's a pretty good top three. Uh, it's that's that's a pr that's a pretty good top three for this banner. That's not bad. Um, but keep in mind that you're gonna get the tickets as well. Your uh, you know thank you tickets, and it gives you a 77 unit multi on any of the banners you choose. By the way, keep this in mind. Do not forget this that you're gonna be able to get all the tickets, and you're gonna get a huge multi on any of the four banners that you pick. 
So it, it's like you can go all in on Broly, right? Get yourself Broly. Go all in on Beast. Get yourself Beast. And then maybe then, you know, do your ticket multi to try and get Gogeta or something like that. I, I, I think that's a good that's that's a good path to go for. Um, it's just very difficult for me to recommend to players ever to skip Dokkan Fest LRs. And Broly is the one villain here. And, I mean, it's important to get Broly to help you with the mission-based content in the game. So, let me know what you guys think. Good luck, global players. I mean, you've got ridiculous discounts, which are going to be very, very good here. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you all next time.